Howdy y'all, back today, uh, coming in this morning out here doing some yard work and carrying on and all that, um, but a package just arrived in the mail and I am so excited because these things are just so beautiful that I, I have to show them now. Um, I have been buying these extraordinary uh, reproduction covers. Excuse me. Uh, I've got three or four of them. And I ordered a, uh, uh, placed an order of 10. Uh, get a little bit of a discount that way. Um, and they just arrived. Now I haven't wrapped them around period books, all except for, for this one. I did already wrap this around a book. It's in Mylar. And my God, is it superb. Looks like a 9.8, 9.9 X-Men 94. <sighs> Absolute bang on. I will, uh, once again, include a link to this seller's uh, eBay page and uh, I know a couple of folks have already gotten on to that uh, these covers are so superb they uh, are printed on that paper they look and feel exactly like the comic book covers really beautiful stuff and again for me it's all about artifact at this point after 50 years in this hobby it's all about laying this artifact in my hand and going wow that is really 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 beautiful and that's what this book uh, with this reproduction cover looks and feels like it just feels completely authentic it's an amazing thing and i would like to dedicate this video to my buddy mr b that's the uh silver age guy who is of my generation and who shares a love of uh reprint books the facsimile books and I turned him on to these reproduction covers and he's one of the guys that uh, is shortly going to start showing uh, some of the reproduction covers that he got from this seller and again I will include the sellers uh, eBay link below but my god Amazing Spider-Man 28. Again, I, it's uh, still in the bag and board that I received it in. I need to wrap it around a period book to get the absolute look and feel. But look at that. Right? That is a beautiful thing. Uh Amazing Spider-Man 31. Look at this. Um, as soon as I saw this, I knew immediately I was going to sell my my original uh, mid-grade Amazing Spider-Man 31. I will be more than happy uh, to have this perfect reproduction cover wrapped around a period book and I have my Marvel Tales issue if I ever want to flip through uh, and read read the story again. Look at that. 
That is beautiful. Next. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 121. Yep. I got this. And now I'm already thinking I'm going to sell my uh, 8.5 original. I'll just wrap this around a period book. Uh, I have my Marvel Tales reprint to fall back on. And again, you lay this in your hand and you go, wow, that is a stunning artifact. And that's, again, after 50 years in this hobby, that's really all I'm interested in. And the companion piece to 121 is 122, right? Same thing applies. I will just wrap this gorgeous, uh, beautiful, perfect reproduction cover around a period book. So it looks and feels that way in my hand. Everything's good. Oh. Here's another one. I have suddenly decided to sell one of my Conan number ones. I've got kind of a 7.5, 8.0 that I'm going to uh, pass on. Uh, look at this. Beautiful. 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 Beautiful reproduction cover. Insane, right? Uh, one, two, three, four more here. Iron Man number one. Yeah. It's one of those books that I kind of regret getting rid of uh, all those years ago because I bought it, uh, the copy I bought in Philadelphia circa 1994 was so pristine and so without flaw, I would almost guarantee that today it's resting in a 9.8 slab somewhere now. I paid the outrageous amount of $20 for it at the time. And to give it some perspective, when he went down in, into the bins, there were 6 or 8 or 10 copies of Iron Man number 1. Priced anywhere from a dollar to three dollars to five dollars. The book I chose came off the wall and it was priced at twenty dollars. It was so stunningly perfect and superb. Anyway, I'm not paying all that money for another copy of Iron Man number one now. So I got this beautiful reproduction cover to satisfy my needs. Ditto, Silver Surfer number one. Look at that beautiful reproduction. Had three copies of this book pass through my hands over many years. Got rid of all of them. I think the best one I ever had was only about very good to fine. Anyway, so hey. Look at this beauty. All I gotta do is get one of the giant square bound books. I don't care which one. From the period, Marvel Superheroes, Marvel Tales, not Brand X. I mean, who cares, right? And just put this on it, slide it into Mylar, and hold it in my hand and go, wow. The artifact, folks. Uh, same thing with number three. I am suddenly in the market to sell my uh, uh, kind of mid-grade, quite lovely 7-0-ish Silver Surfer number three. I'm just going to wrap this bad boy around a period square bound book. I have the reprint if in my unbagged reader stacks, if I ever want to flip through it again. And again, in my hand, I look at it and I just go, wow. 
What a beautiful artifact. One of my original orders was uh, with this uh, repro cover seller was Silver Surfer number four. And I, it's, uh, I showed that off uh, several weeks ago. Uh, I just took it and I wrapped around a, a, a 1968 square bound book. And it, it literally looks like a 9.9 .9 Silver Surfer number four. And finally, uh, another book I had uh, several copies of over the years. And I don't have any more. And I'm not going to pay all that primo money for it. Uh, the Incredible Hulk king size annual number one look how perfect this reproduction is i mean it's just flawless absolutely flawless and again the, these uh covers uh, are on the correct paper they have the correct gloss these things are beautiful and uh, once again, I will put a link to the seller's eBay store uh, down below. So, yeah, just wrap this sucker around a 1968 square bound annual. And everything's going to be good, right? It's all about the artifact. All right, look at these beauties, right? It's a startling thing, right, to see such magnificence in one hand, right? A amazing. Amazing, amazing uh, product, amazing quality. And one last time. Uh, the one cover that I have already wrapped around a period book. And now, again, in my hand, the look, the feel. It's a 9.9 .9 X-Men 94. It's beautiful, right? See that, right? You know how beautiful that is? Okay, folks. Just wanted to share that. And again, Mr. B, Silver Age guy, this is dedicated to you. And I can't wait to see uh, which reproduction covers you score from my friend, our friend. All right. See you all later. Bye-bye.